Energy generation is the sector responsible for the most greenhouse gas emissions. But what if instead of emitting CO2, we could generate low-cost energy while also giving off usable heat, gas, and fertilizer? And actually capturing CO2 for long-term storage. Let's talk about biomass. Biomass energy can be kind of problematic. Cutting down trees to burn them isn't sustainable. But what about dead biomass? Trees naturally lose branches from time to time, or they die and fall to the forest floor where they begin to decompose. At this point, insects will begin to eat the dead wood and release its carbon as CO2. 10.9 gigatons of CO2 are released this way per year. That's a lot, but remember it's part of Earth's natural carbon cycle. Accumulating dead wood can also be fuel for forest fires. But what if instead of emitting all that CO2, we could capture it instead? This is possible through a process called pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is what happens when dry organic material gets very hot in the absence of oxygen. This can be done with any dry organic material, which is called a feedstock. First, the feedstock is loaded into two chambers. The lower chamber is burned to generate heat. This initiates the process. Once the feedstock is hot enough, it begins to pyrolyze and give off gas. Some of the gas can be redirected for storage or use. The rest is burned to keep the reaction going. As a result of this process, we get heat, biochar, and potash. The heat can be used for cooking, making hot water, or heating your home. The biochar captures about 30 to 50 percent of the carbon from the feedstock. Biochar is an almost pure carbon which can be used as a soil additive to improve the soil's ability to hold water and nutrients. Used in this way, the carbon will be safely sequestered for the long term. Potash, also known as ash, is produced as well. This product is high in potassium, which is a key fertilizer. Both the biochar and the potash can be returned to where the feedstock is grown completing the cycle and improving soil quality. Other feedstocks can be used as well, which may capture carbon much more quickly. For example, bamboo, switchgrass, sugarcane, straw, or even dried food waste. 